Considered an advocate for the common man, he stood for his troops, protected the United States from the corruption of the National Bank, and decreased the federal debt. Many know the aspects behind the presidency of Andrew Jackson. However, his life outside the White House in Nashville, Tennessee, is to many unknown. Andrew Jackson was born on March 15, 1767 in the Waxhaws area near the border of North and South Carolina. At age 14, after the death of his mother and his brothers, young Jackson was left orphaned and moved to Salisbury, North Carolina, where he began the study of law. In 1788, after being offered a job in Nashville, Jackson decided to make Tennessee his new home. Through his interest in politics and hard work ethic, he went on to become Tennessee's first elected representative in 1796. This position allowed him to become a delegate of the Tennessee Constitutional Convention. The following year, he was elected Tennessee's U.S. Senator, but in 1798, he resigned to become Tennessee's Supreme Court Judge. In 1804, Jackson bought a 435-acre farm. There, he built his beloved home in Nashville, Tennessee, the Hermitage. In 1812, when the war came upon the United States, Jackson quickly took his honorable position as a general major. He led a volunteer army of 1,500 to Natchez, Mississippi. For enduring the entire trip with his soldiers and suffering all of the hardships with them, Jackson inherited the name Old Hickory. A decade and a half later, Jackson won the presidential election of 1828. He served two terms with both failure and success. He prevailed in shutting down the National Bank, passed the Indian Removal Act in 1830, and created the basis of what is today's Democratic Party. After the end of his second term in 1837, Jackson moved to the Hermitage, where he stayed until his death on June 8, 1845. The Hermitage, located outside of Nashville, is now an exhibit for anyone wishing to learn about his life outside of politics. Jackson's enduring legacy can now be viewed throughout much of Middle Tennessee. The spirit of Old Hickory will always live on in the tapestry of American history. <laughs>